Neil Ritson talks about how he ended up being a researcher on strategy in the field of petroleum and his research on how the industry varies between New Zealand and the UK. So coming to New Zealand, there's only one refinery in Marsden Point, which is a problem, because um, you can't compare it very easily with anything else or what they're doing. And so what I decided to do here is to use the basis that I'd had um, in the oil industry and try and look a bit broader and try and see what it is about New Zealand with its isolation from, uh, from, uh, from markets and from supply, how they actually manage the, uh, the supply chain. So I got um, interviews with all the major companies. Um, um, we divide it into upstream and downstream. Upstream is the supply and the shipping and transportation of, uh, of, of oil. So I talked to the major companies about that. And then I went to, I went to, the, uh, to the refinery and talked about how they process uh, um, the, the, the crude oil, how, it, uh, how, it's actually, how the refinery is actually um, set up, uh, mainly to produce uh, distillates or diesel and how they, um, they import a lot of, uh, of uh, finished gasoline uh, instead of um, brewing it at the refinery. And then how it then comes down through the, um, through the supply chain, through the, uh, the terminals, the shipping, etc. So the idea is to try and find out how the strategy of the companies will work in a modern era when, for example, Shell has pulled out of uh, New Zealand and sold their uh, business to Z Energy. So, um, that's a, a, a not really unexpected, except that you'd think that Shell, who had a very good business in New Zealand, might have hung on to it. Um, certainly it's hung on to the business in the UK. Um, so my next stage was then to see, given what we then found out about New Zealand, um, whether it matched what we know about the UK.